My name is Libby Barbie and I am in the One Sheet Exhibition, specifically paper. I started out as a painter, but I really uh, evolved to work in a lot of different media. Um, but one thing that stays pretty consistent throughout my work is collage. And so whether I'm working digitally or in paper or even sometimes in sculpture, I think I'm always kind of thinking about how I can take things and recombine them and put them back together again. So paper kind of is a natural fit for that. It's always fun to be part of an exhibition at the Arvada Center. And I thought this was a really interesting prompt um, to be asked to use just one piece of paper, or one piece of wood to make, um, make a piece of artwork. Another thing that made me very excited about this, which was that I've had this material that Colin Parson gave to me uh, quite a few years ago that I believe came from his father, Chuck, that I've been wanting to use in a piece for a long time. And so when I was asked for it to spay, I thought, ah, this is the, this is the opportunity. I started um, the sheet of paper that we were given, I think was 50 by 50 inches. And so I took that piece of paper and I cut it into three um, pieces horizontally so that I had these nice long three pieces because I knew that I was wanting to deal with kind of this um, fisheye view of a landscape. And so I wanted something long and narrow. Um, and then I took uh, the, the boxes of aerial photographs that I was working with and I essentially, um, and I can kind of share some of the materials, what they look like as I'm working on them. But, you know, I take these sheets of paper, so I'll have these scans and I cut them up into really small little pieces of paper. And sometimes I work with what's already happening in the images. Um, so just kind of following some of the natural features that are in those aerial landscapes and then cut and then other times I'm cutting them into you know very small little pieces that I can use to kind of construct this larger image and I lay them out uh, these were a little tricky and then I was trying to make each of the segments kind of fit to the next ones that would be one um, cohesive image um, but I kind of started on one and started laying it out. Um, and I tend to glue kind of as I go and make these little like small commitments. So I'll glue little pieces out of time and kind of lay them out and then kind of commit to what I have. Um, and I really started with those, those mountain ranges. And then I'm really interested, um, you'll see this kind of um, graph drawing at the bottom that looks a little bit like fences or corrals. And um, I use those in these collages often to kind of think about uh, borders and fences and boundaries, um, because I do think we have this idea of the American West that it is boundaryless, you know, that it's kind of ongoing and there are no, there are no boundaries. And yet it's really a landscape that is fully um, divided and cut up in terms of property rights and water rights and um, we have been fences and, and boundaries and borders as we know. Um, so I'm interested in kind of that abstract border that interacts with this more realistic um, image that comes out of the collage. Um, yeah, and then in these pieces, which I haven't done a lot previously, I used charcoal to kind of create the, um, the skyscape. Generally, my work um, comes out of my experience of having grown up in the American West and specifically in southeastern Colorado. And so I'm thinking a lot about um, the American West and our ideas about our relationship to this landscape, as well as how those ideas have evolved over the course of American history and the role that um, American frontier myth plays in how we view ourselves as Americans and how we interact with the landscape. My name is Libby Barbie. Please come check out my artwork, Constructed Mountainscapes 1, 2, and 3 in the One Sheet Exhibition only at the Arvada Center running September 15th through November 13th.